Hi, I'm Johnny Wyatt. I've been honored to serve as a member of the Victory Worship Center Elder Board for a little over four years. And I'm here to share with you about an important recommendation we have made. As elders, we know that you want an uplifting, life-giving, spirit-enriching worship experience every Sunday when you attend a service here at Victory, either in person or online. As elders, we want and need the same thing. We know that requires high levels of spiritual, mental, physical energy, and creativity from a large team of wonderful people who lead us every week, especially of our pastor who leads us all. We all know that proper rest must be part of the plan to sustain this level of spiritual, mental, physical energy and creativity. I remember when I was in college, someone said to me, Johnny, sometimes the most spiritual thing you can do is take a nap. Well, your elders have studied scripture, also the practice of other large churches, to understand what is needed in order to support this high level of ministry over the long haul. It's not a new idea, but we believe it's the right idea for victory at this time. You might call it pastoral sabbatical. The purpose is deep rest every few years. We believe Pastor Whalen and Dana are well overdue. They have served us holding nothing back for over 16 years. I have practical experience with pastoral sabbatical. For a number of years, I served at the executive staff level in large churches, one of which used this approach. I know from personal experience, it works. Our study of other large churches that incorporate this practice profoundly supports this idea also. It's as they say, in every way, a win-win for both the pastor and us, the church. Your elders wholeheartedly recommend it. We ask that you join us in prayer for their season of rest. Pastor Whalen is going to tell you how we're going to do this. I want to begin by saying uh, we are deeply grateful uh, to the elders of this church who, uh, who steward, help us steward our lives well. And uh, they, they came to me probably about a year ago and said, Pastor, we, we think you need to consider taking a sabbatical sometime. And uh, you've been 16 years in ministry here on staff and uh, 30 years in ministry and, and don't know that we've ever taken this sort of, this sort of a leave or a sabbatical. I know some might be asking the question, well, what's a sabbatical and how do I get one? And, uh, and uh, become a pastor and have your elders recommend you do it. And so, but really what it is, is I think Johnny said it so well, it is a season that is dedicated to deep rest. It is disconnecting from the day-to-day, -day, the, the responsibilities of pastoring. You know, I often think, I never understood this until I sat in this position. And, and so I sat as a staff member for 30 years in churches. I've served great churches, effective churches, powerful churches, powerful men of God, and, uh, and have loved every minute of it and still do. And, uh, but I never really understood this verse that Paul talks about in Scripture. If you ever go to the Scripture where Paul talks about all of the hardships that he faced, he said, you know, I've been shipwrecked, I've been beaten, I've been this, I've been that. And he goes through this list of things that he's gone through in ministry. And then at the end of it, he makes this very peculiar statement. He says, and I carry constantly the weight of the churches. I never understood that until I stepped in the role of senior pastor, that ministry, especially at this level, is, I had one of my overseers explain it to me this way. He said, Waylon, ministry, senior pastoring, is like putting on a 200-pound vest that you never take off, that you go to sleep with it, you wake up with it. You go on vacation. You need to understand just about every vacation of the last probably 16 years, you have gone with me on vacation. And you're like, well, I don't remember it. Well, this because you weren't there physically. But as a pastor, I, 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 again, I'm not, I'm not bemoaning what I do. I'm grateful for what I do. There's a grace for what I do. Um, I could not do it except for the grace of God. But I'm going to tell you, you know, you think about the, the work that we go through, but then you add the spiritual component to what you carry and you wrestle against. You know, I've heard a person say to me, and this has widely been documented, that preaching a 30-minute service is like, is like an eight-mile hike. And so y'all know how long I preach. And so like I'm, <laughs> 
And uh, I'm just trying to get my exercise in. But the, the reality is this. I don't say any of that to, to gather sympathy because I, I really don't need sympathy. I, I just need the grace of God and grace from you as well. To understand that I'm human and I'm just like you, my wife, we're human. And so uh, there's a couple of things, you know, how's this going to work? Well, uh, we're going to be here next week. We'll be our last, I should say our last, I hate saying that. It'll be the last before we take sabbatical. It's not our last service. Uh, next week, and I'm actually going to take this, this Sunday and preach on rest. Uh, I think it really, it filters very well with the message today about stewardship, but I'm going to preach on rest. And I, I want this for you. I want you to rest as well. And my wife will share with you, we've not always been the best example of rest, probably. And so we're endeavoring to, 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 to do better at that. But then after that, we will be gone for a season of about six weeks away from the pulpit. Um, the, the elders have given us six weeks away, but then two weeks, uh, we'll be back here, but we won't be preaching. And that is sort of our reentry uh, period for study and preparation. You, you have to understand as a pastor, the moment I get done with this message, I'm thinking about the next one. It's just the way it works. You, you don't like, oh, I'll just wait till Friday and figure it out. You literally are constantly, and you should be glad I don't do that, by the way, but, but, but literally the moment, I mean, in, uh, the moment that you stop, it's like, okay, we, we're, we're back on the, on the treadmill again to get going for next week. And so in order to have some time to re-enter so that I'm not using a sabbatical to think about preaching, uh, they've said, we're gonna give you two weeks, Pastor, where I'll be here, uh, my wife will be here, uh, but, but we're going to allow others to minister. Now, let me say this to you. Part of our big consideration in this decision was you. And, um, and so over the next six to eight weeks, uh, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit jealous because it is going to be some of the best teaching, preaching um, voices in this place. I'm a little bummed um, because I won't be here because th- these are some people that I love and are going to feed you extremely well during this summer. This is going to be the best summer ever, I think. And I'm not going to be here. I don't know what that means. But, but, but the truth is, I believe that. We're, all of our apostolic overseers, Pastor Jimmy, Pastor Tom, Pastor Wayne, are all coming in to minister. John Bevere will be here. Uh, Rabbi Jason Sobel, uh, if you know him, he's amazing. Uh, I, I think there's some, Tim Ross, Alex Seeley. I mean, it is going to be an incredible, incredible summer. And you're going to walk away every week like, man, could it get any better? And we, we built it that way on purpose, purpose because we really want you to be fed and cared for well uh, while we're resting. And so uh, we've, we've, we've covered that aspect of it. It's going to be an amazing time. Um, honestly, the whole, um, the whole concept of us taking a break has been difficult. Um, yeah. and, and honestly, the Lord kind of... Um, chastised me, I won't say he chastised you, um, about whose church is this really? Do yeah. you have to be here for these people to be cared for well? Yeah. And we don't because it is the Lord's church. Yeah. And we are faithful to do what he asks us to do. But in order for him to be in charge, it means it has to be okay for us to understand that we are human and we need rest. Yeah. And so I just want to say, um, we just need to repent that we haven't been a good example because, um, in America, it's always applauded. The, the hard workers are, you know, you just, just never take a break. And, um, that really puts us on the throne instead of Jesus being yeah. on the throne and saying, you're in control. And if I'll do what you've asked me to do, you're going to bless what I can do in a shorter amount of time because I'm giving myself space for rest, you'll bless it more than if I'm, if I'm doing it all in my own power. Amen. But we love you so much. And we would just ask that you be praying for us just like we're gonna be praying for you. Um, we're gonna try not to think about you all the time. But when I'm in prayer, I think the Lord's okay with me still, yeah. still praying we'll pray for, you. for you. We are not gonna think about you anymore than we have to. Um, that's the whole point, and uh, don't, don't be offended by that, because uh, we will be praying for you, and uh, it's going to be an amazing season. There is something I would ask of you as your pastor in this season. Just very simply, I want you to, you know, sometimes um, there's more questions. We've actually posted some, some frequently asked questions on our website. Um, don't go there right now, because I'm about to preach a great message to you, okay? But if you have questions about what does this look like, is there, you know, is there a problem, and 
And uh, it's really, you can get all those answers. None of that's the issue whatsoever. This is simply just something the Lord has been leading us into for, for quite some time. You remember we did churches that heal. And uh, sometimes what you need is time, you know, grace and truth. You need space and just rest. And, uh, and so part of what it is is that we've been talking about health. And so we, we want to model health. We want to live healthy. We want you to be healthy. And, uh, and so that's what we desire for you. So if you have those questions, they're more available. But I want to ask you this. I'm going to ask you to be faithful in your attendance, faithful in your giving through this season. Uh, realize that what I realize is the church is not about me. Mm-hmm. It is ultimately, as my wife said so well, it's Jesus' church. Yes. And these are great moments. You're, you're going to be amazed. You know, I was reading yesterday um, a book called Sacred Rest. I've been reading a lot on rest. I've been studying rest. That feels like an oxymoron. But but sometimes when you're this A-type, eight personality, like that's the hardest thing to do is just disconnect and rest. And uh, one of the things that, it, that my wife said it, re- a Sabbath demands faith. You have to engage in faith and say, I trust you, God. And you know what? I just settled at that moment. I said, Lord, I trust you. I really have a complete peace. I trust you that in these next number of weeks, you're going to meet us in a powerful way. Our, our family is going to have an incredible time of just connecting together at a deeper level but you're going to meet everybody in this church in a powerful way that you wouldn't if we weren't willing to obey you this way. And so I want to just encourage you to be faithful in your giving and in, in your attendance and your serving. We love you and appreciate you and uh, look forward. We'll be here one more week and then we're going to be out for that season and we're going to come back like guns blazing, yo. It's going to be crazy, okay? So we love you. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, baby. Appreciate that. Thanks.